Thanks for joining us for the executive series today. I'm speaking with John Gusick, who is the managing director of Webjet. John, it's great to talk to you. Great to see you, Tom. Now, in terms of your online presence and um, the way you've been executing in the business in, in recent years, it's been a, a, a great story. Yep. Um, tell us what the, the nub of the issue is in terms of the, the business philosophy and um, how you are doing this as an organization so consistently. Sure. Um, our business is around uh, two principles, convenience and choice. And if you come to our website, we want to provide you with the broadest range of, uh, of airline offerings, and we're completely unbiased in that display. So our uh, pricing algorithms are very, very simple. The cheapest one is on the left-hand side, the most expensive is on the right, and we provide you with every possible choice. Not only every possible choice, but every possible combination. So therefore, you as a consumer go into your interaction with Webjet knowing that we're unbiased, we're going to give you all the information, and then you make the decision about what suits your needs. So we started with that premise, um, put in superior levels of customer service, and on top of that, started extending the product range to provide more than just flights, and we're getting more and more successful over time in adding other value-added ancillary products. Um, examples include car hire, motorhome, uh, insurance, um, and as our number of consumers increases, their average spend with us tends to increase. So they've been the key drivers behind the success of the business over the last nearly 20 years. Indeed, it doesn't seem like it's been that long, but well, over that period, you've also developed a, a wholesale business, your web beds business. And this, for some people, is often a little more challenging to, to understand because you're operating in a different market. So um, how do you explain that to investors? Sure. Um, the, you, you've touched on what's been a, a key message to, to the investment community over the last uh, four or five years, is that uh, in Australia we, we operate a very successful consumer-facing business. This is not a consumer-facing business. This is a traditional wholesaling business. What we actually take is the world's supply of hotel rooms and present them to other people who on-sell them to their particular customers. So we sell to our traditional travel agents, we sell to other online travel agents, we sell to wholesalers, we sell to tour operators, we sell to corporate travel agencies. Now, what those guys all need is a single interface where somebody gives them all the hotels in the world, hopefully at good prices, which we believe we do, and presents it to them in a seamless fashion. So they don't go and call each hotel, obviously, individually. They don't use fax machines. They don't pick up the phone. What they have is an IT integrated solution with our wholesaling offering. We put it onto their system and they have 300,000 hotels available. And it means that they have the broadest range of choice and it takes literally five seconds for that to happen. From the time they make a request, we can produce 1,000 hotels back to them in a particular destination. So that's the core solution that we offer. And where we are perhaps a little bit unique to some of our competitors is that we have lots of supply of the exact same hotel and we present it to them irrespective of what the economics to us, whatever is the cheapest price. And it's seen phenomenal growth. So to put that into perspective, uh, five years ago when we started this, we did $10,000 in the first month of trading. Well, five years later, through predominantly organic growth and a couple of acquisitions, we're now on a business that's on a run rate to do roughly $1.5 in total transaction value this financial year. So it's become a very fast-growing part of our business, and it's one that gives us an opportunity to compete on a global basis. So we're not restricted to uh, the island of Australia. We have an opportunity that exists well outside of that. We uh, operate in... We're selling to over 150 countries and we have people selling in over 100 countries. So it's a very different proposition to what we do with the consumer facing Webjet brand. Indeed. And so at what point do you consider to have established critical mass in, in that important part of the market? Uh, I think for us, we, we went through two phases. One is to work out, can we have a compelling value proposition that nobody else has in this particular space? We did that when we started the business five years ago based out of Dubai, and within nine months, we made that business break even. So we recognized that in such a short period of time, there must be 
something about the business model that's compelling to, to our customers. On the back of that, we then established a, a presence in Europe by making a small acquisition of a business called Sun Hotels. And as we went through the journey, we kept growing at phenomenal rates. So we then extended with an organic startup into the North America, we extended with another organic startup with Asia. So we did all of that over the sort of four year period and we were growing very, very quickly. But what we wanted to achieve was scale. And to do that, we made an acquisition in August of last year to Jack Travel. That basically doubled the size of our B2B business. And what that gives us now is substantial presence in all the major geographic markets that we want to compete in. So if we can continue the growth rates at the higher, at the higher base, we're in a really strong position. Now, the way we've thought about this, initial part was speed, second part was scale, now it's speed to scale. So we really want to continue the same core philosophy of driving our uh, activity. And to do that, we're putting more people on the streets, we've got more salespeople in markets, we've got more people contracting hotels for us, and we're seeing a, a reward for, for those efforts. And in our financial results for the foreseeable future, it's going to be a more material component of the overall Webjet result. Indeed. So just quickly, let's touch on um, the challenges associated with uh, bolting on technology companies, which they uh, effectively are in many instances. Uh, Is that a challenge? Um, It's remarkable uh, in the fact that we operate a digital consumer facing business and a digital wholesaling business the similarities. So if we go to the the underlying philosophy of Webjet, it's convenience and choice, that transfers itself to our wholesaling business. If we go to superior levels of customer service on the Webjet brand, that transfers itself nicely with the B2B bit. The thing that um, we've learnt the most out of the Webjet consumer facing business is that we are really good at aggregating disparate supply. So to provide convenience and choice, we need to have every airline connected. And not all of them have the same methodologies of connection. So we have a broad base of connections that we uh, aggregate on behalf of the consumers and present that result to them. We do exactly the same on the hotel side. And the same philosophies exist about building out scale, moving to the cloud, working in an agile IT environment, componentizing your development to microservices, all of those things we've learnt from our consumer facing business of Webjet and transferred those skills across to our Webbeds B2B business. Finally, uh, since you delivered those great results at the uh, beginning of the year, how have you found the, the remainder of this calendar year um, been progressing in terms of the, the consumer side of things? Uh, trading conditions in Australia have been remarkably consistent. Domestic uh, exhibits low level growth in the, in the overall market, low, low single digits. It's, uh, it's probably tracked consistently 2% over the last two years. We don't see that changing in the short term. International um, continues to outperform the domestic market. Australians still want to go overseas. It's still uh, the, the experiential element of wanting to experience something more than what they've got in, in Australia is a, is, a key, is a key pull to many people, and that continues to grow at a faster rate. So we think the overall Australian market will grow at 4%, and our objective in Webjet is to grow at least three times the underlying rate of the market. John, it's been great talking to you. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us.